The field is in the hands of the starter. And there they go, the 1989 William E. Miller is underway. Ship Scorch drives out of there for the lead as they approach the turn. That's a hostile takeover second along the rail. Up on the outside, kick up a storm to get away in third. Pilgrim's Patriot fourth down along the rail. That's a super... Shannon Super coming on in fifth. Racing six, Pilgrim's Punch. Can Kentucky Spur underway early out of seventh, and uh, Crombie the quarter time in a quick 27 and 1. They'll hustle into the upper turn. Ship Scorch leads the pack. Hostile takeover racing second, a gap of two. Kick up a storm, closing it up in third. Pilgrim's Patriot racing fourth. Kentucky Spur on the outside fifth. In front of the grandstand, they're on their way to the half. Shannon Super. Down the lane they come. The lead belongs to Ship Scorch and Trevor Ritchie. 56 and 3. Kick up a storm. Kicks in the gear. He takes over second. Hostile takeover third. At the rail, Shannon Super fourth. On the outside, Pilgrim's Patriot in fifth. Kentucky Spur. Pilgrim's Punch. And the trailer are Crombie down the back lane they go. They speed to the three quarter mark with Ship Scorch in command every step. Kick up a storm. Hangs second. Second, hostile takeover, biting his time third. That's Pilgrim's Patriot fourth on the outside. Shannon Super fifth, Kentucky Spur. Pilgrim's Punch and all Crombie, 125 and three. Eight of them up tight in the final turn. Ship Scorch fighting to hold on. Up on the outside though and challenging, kick up a storm. Turns for home, hostile takeover between horses. Pilgrim's Patriot on the outside. Through the lane, it's a uh, kick up a storm with hostile takeover. Kick up a storm wins the Miller 150.